Hi folks, Captain Cephas here. When it's cold outside, you need to change the way you're fishing. And Captain Mac Farr has this week's Nuts and Bolts Pro Tip. You know, cold weather means slow. You're going to have to slow down your presentation. A lot of times you have to downsize your baits. And I think that's true whether you're fishing for crappie or for bass, or if you're down in the salt, you're trying to catch a redfish or a trout. Also, I want you to slow down your retrieve. Remember, bait, everything, it's all cold down there. It's in slow motion. And I think as fishermen, we all want to overwork our bait. We use a lot of uh, a term we call dead sticking. We just let the bait, we don't move it. Remember too, when you're in a salt marsh, you've got current moving that bait. It's moving it left and right. And sometimes that's enough to get a bite. The bait's slow, the shrimp are slow. Your bait needs to mimic that you won't get the bite. So slow down, take your time, you'll be rewarded. Oh, there he is. He was right there, right under my feet. Whoops. Back right back. Hold on back. What is that? Yep, pretty fish anyway. Look at him. It looks nice. What I'm using here is a quarter ounce jig head with a grub. There's a couple different ways to fish this when you get in these creeks. Right now, we're on one side of the creek throwing across the creek and coming right through the middle of the creek. Two ways to fish it. You can, we're dragging it, stopping, reeling the slack, dragging it, reeling the slack. Or another way, if you don't get bit like that, throw it out, let it go to the bottom, bring it back with a hop. Just hop it a couple times, back to the bottom, hop it a couple times, back to the bottom, and you'll feel it, it'll just, be, it, most of the time, it's a tap. You just feel that tap, and that's when you want put to the, put the hook to him. But I think if you, if you try those two techniques when you're in these creeks, you'll be successful with that. We're fishing in cold water. When it's warm, you can throw that jig out there and just keep it on a steady reel. Sometimes you can speed it up and, and reel it real fast. When it's cold like this, you've got to slow it down. You gotta stay near the bottom, and, and really slow it down. It, whether you're dragging it, hopping it, you want to hop it or drag it, let it sit. When it's sitting there, a lot of times they'll bite it then. When it's sitting, he'll just pick it up and uh, take it that way. So you have to be ready for that. Got him. They love to shake that head though, don't they? There we go. That is a pretty trout right there. Got him, buddy? Now, a couple of things to remember when you're cold weather fishing. Look, we're bundled up like Eskimos out here because it's plum cold and we've got thick, heavy gloves on. We're fishing relatively light tackle, 10 pound test line and quarter ounce jigs. Now, that means you're not going to have the sensitivity in your hand because you've got all this insulation around to really feel the bite in your hand on the reel seat here. So a way to know when you're getting tapped, keep an eye on both your line where it goes in the water and your rod tip. If your line starts to do something different, like move in a different direction, that's when you need to set the hook. If you see the tip of your rod start to bounce a little bit, then you also know something's messing with your bait down there and it's time to, well, give them a good jerk. So use your eyes in this particular case instead of your hands and you'll be able to know when that fish is coming to call. Nuts and Bolts Pro Tips have been brought to you by Whoop Ass Fishing Tackle, the fish catching us lures you'll ever throw. Hand tied bucktail jigs in a variety of sizes and colors. Open up a can on them and catch more fish. Practical, real world information you can use the next time you're on the water. That's the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing.